is Peter Vincent. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Aeronautics at Imperial College London. Computational fluid dynamics is the study of how fluids flow using computers. The governing mathematical equations that explain how fluids flow are typically too complicated to solve using pen and paper mathematics and have to be solved on computers, often quite large computers. There's various industries that uh, use CFD heavily. Um, one of the primary ones is the aerospace sector, so design of commercial aircraft, trying to reduce the noise of commercial aircraft, which is a big deal at the moment, especially in the context of Heathrow expansion, making aircraft more fuel efficient, um, so engine design for the aircraft, their general aerodynamics. Also military uh, aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles at the moment are a, a sort of hot topic in terms of aerodynamic design. CFD is also used in the automotive sector, especially in Formula One, to optimise their shape. Renewable energy is another sector that uses computational fluid dynamics a lot. If you imagine the design of a, a wind turbine that's got air flowing across it and you want to optimise the shape to extract the maximum energy possible from the flowing air. Biological fluid dynamics is study of fluid flow typically in the human body. We are particularly interested in simulating blood flow in the human body. There's various reasons why we want to simulate blood flow in the body. One of the primary reasons is to understand how blood flow patterns lead to various vascular diseases. And so one important disease is called atherosclerosis, which is the build-up of fatty deposits in the walls of large arteries. And these deposits eventually can burst and release their contents into the blood. The blood will clot around this contents and the clot will get stuck in the vessel, blocking it up fully and this leads to a heart attack or a stroke. So atherosclerosis is a very important disease. And so if you can understand better uh, how and why the formation of atherosclerosis is related to flow patterns, you might have more of a handle on why it occurs per se and hopefully routes to trying to stop it and prevent it occurring.